The American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers' 28th historic landmark designation is the slow-moving vehicle emblem. In the late 1950s, a 10-year retrospective study of fatal tractor accidents was conducted by Walter McClure and Ben Lamp at The Ohio State University. Their research uncovered a significant number of fatalities related to highway travel of slow-moving vehicles and rear-end collisions. In 1962, under the supervision of Ken Harkness, after testing various designs, the researchers determined that the most effective symbol for alerting oncoming drivers during both daylight and nighttime was a triangular-shaped emblem with a 12-inch high fluorescent orange center and red reflective borders. The first formal introduction of the SMV emblem was at a University of Iowa Invitational Safety Seminar in 1962. Carlton Zink of Deer Company then became an avid promoter of the SMV emblem and played a major role in the adoption. That same year, the Goodyear Rubber and Tire Company sponsored initial public exposure to the SMV emblem. A Ford tractor towed a farm wagon displaying the SMV emblem from Portland, Maine to San Diego, a trip of nearly 3,700 miles, exposing the emblem to drivers along the route. In 1966, ASAE adopted an SMV standard. The Canadian Standards Association adopted the SMV emblem in 1967. And importantly, in 1971, the SMV emblem became the first ASAE standard to be adopted as a national standard by the American National Standards Institute. In 1992, it was designated an ASAE historic landmark, and a display commemorating the event was located at the Agricultural Engineering Building on the Ohio State University campus in Columbus, Ohio. The SMV emblem is now accepted as a worldwide symbol for slow-moving vehicles. The ASABE contribution continues to save lives. <laughs>